Hey, do you girls mind if I sit with you? Uh, uh, with that outfit? Yeah, we mind. Heather, I am so, so sorry. There's no money on your account. Oh, I have to take this, but you can have this free lunch, okay? <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing. Your family's so poor, you have to eat that nasty free meal. I could never. How sad. Ugh. Well, um, it's not that bad. Well, we get our lunches made by our family's personal chefs. <laughs> Happy free meal, homeless Heather. <laughs> homeless Heather! <laughs> Aw, did you drop your nickel? Can you please get off of it? I need it for the bus. Ew, I can't believe you're so broke you have to take public transportation. <laughs> That's disgusting. So gross. See that car over there? That's my mom's brand new Tesla. And that's just one of our cars. That's good for you, Becky. I'd offer you a ride, but I wouldn't want to dirty up the car having you in it. <laughs> Becky, let's go, honey! Gotta go. My mom's taking me shopping at Gucci. Have fun riding the bus. shop at the thrift store. Well, yeah, I had to buy some new clothes for school. That is so gross. First you eat the nasty school lunch, then you ride the bus, and now you buy other people's used clothes. Ugh, gosh, how poor are you? Becky, I can't believe you just said that to her. What? I'm just telling the truth, Mom. You should never make fun of other people. Who cares? It's just homeless Heather. Everyone makes fun of her. How would you feel if someone made fun of you? You shouldn't judge people until you've walked in their shoes. Well, luckily, we're rich, and I won't ever have to worry about that. <laughs> See, that's where you're wrong. You may come from a family with money, but that is not how we treat other people. Starting tomorrow, no more catered lunches. You can have the school lunch. No more Tesla pickups. You can catch the bus. And no more designer shopping. You can shop at the thrift store. But, but Mom, no, you can't do that. You have no choice, young lady. Becky can't believe what just happened. The next day, Becky doesn't have the chef-made food she usually eats. When she tries to sit down at the table with her friends, they make fun of her and don't even let her sit with them. Becky is devastated. And after school, Becky's mom doesn't pick her up in the Tesla. Instead, she has to wait for the bus. Her friends happen to walk by and tease her. Becky is so humiliated. And finally, Becky isn't able to shop at the designer store. Now she has to shop at the thrift store. Her friends see her as she walks out and laugh at her. She's so embarrassed and runs away in tears. After a while, Becky starts to understand what it feels like to get made fun of for not having much. <laughs> Enjoy your free lunch, broke Becky. Let's go. We wouldn't want anyone thinking we're friends with someone like her. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll sit with you. Heather? But why are you being nice to me? Because I know how it feels when people are mean to you. Look, I'm really sorry for making fun of you all those times. I was wrong. I, 
guess you never really know what someone's going through unless you experience it yourself. Can you please forgive me? Of course. <laughs> hey, do you think we could maybe catch the bus and go thrift shopping together later? Yeah, I like that. All right, sweetheart. We should probably stop here so no one sees us. You remember what happened at your last school? Don't worry, we'll be fine. Come on. Did you see Gordon's dumb haircut? <laughs> it looked like his dad cut it. <laughs> what in the world? Oh. Have a good day, honey. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm not gonna be able to pick you up after school, but Mike will, okay? That's a good part of having two dads. <laughs> See ya. What the heck was that? What do you mean? Why are two dudes walking you to school? Where's your mom? I was adopted. Those are my dads. What? Are you serious? She has two dads! <laughs> That's it for today. And please remember next week is bring your mom to school day. <laughs> is everything okay, Billy? What if you don't have a mom? That's fine. Just bring your dad. <laughs> what is so funny? Well, what if you have two dads? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Tell it, Jasmine. It's not a problem. You can bring them both. You must really suck. What do you mean? That you weren't good enough for your real mom. So she gave you away, like some used clothes. You don't know the story, just go away. Or what? Are you gonna tell your dad? Oh, oh I mean, dad's on me? Nice try. Guys, check it out. Jasmine's sitting by herself. Watch this. Hey Jasmine, why are you sitting by yourself? First, her mom didn't want her. You know, no one in school does either. <laughs> hey! That's really mean. Yeah, don't speak to her that way. What? I'm just stating the facts. Hey, Jasmine, you can come and sit with us. Yeah, or over here. Thanks, but I'm okay. Yeah, she'll be all right. She's used to rejection. <laughs> don't let him get to you. He's just a mean bully. Yeah. We'd love to have lunch with you. Thanks. Hey, I've got a question for you. I don't want to talk to you, Billy. No, 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 no. I'm serious. I promise I'm not going to be mean. Fine. What? Since both of your dads are gay, does that mean you're going to be gay too? <laughs> I told you earlier to leave me alone. Mom! It must really suck to see all these kids getting picked up by their real moms and dads. So, why did your mom leave? She just didn't love you, or what? Billy! Let's go! Okay, I'm coming! Mom! Hey, sweetie. Jasmine, what's wrong, honey? Let's just go. Jasmine! Tell me what's wrong. I don't want to talk about it. Come on, sweetheart. You know you can tell me anything. This kid at my school keeps making fun of me because I'm adopted. I'm so sorry, honey. Kids at school can be so mean. I just don't know why my mom gave me up like that. Do you think it's because she didn't love me? No, not at all. I promise you that that's not the case. Yeah, right. I just don't want to hurt my feelings. I wouldn't say something if it wasn't the truth. I know she loved you. Oh, yeah? How? Exactly. Let's just go. Look, we weren't going to show you this until you were older. But I think it's time you see it now. What is it? Just watch. Hi, Jasmine. 
You're so beautiful, baby girl. I've been waiting my whole pregnancy for this moment. Right now, you're mine. 100% mine. But this is our last hour together. And then, you'll be Mike and Harry's little girl. I know they're going to take care of you and love you so much. While I have you, there's a few things I want you to know. You're probably wondering why I decided to give you up. Please know it wasn't an easy decision. You see, my pregnancy with you wasn't an easy one. Okay, so who wants to read from chapter 32? Any volunteers? Maya's mom's outside waiting for her. Right. Today will be Maya's last day at school because, well, don't think I need to say. It's because she's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Alex, it's because she's about to have her baby. You know, in school, you're supposed to be a kid, not be having one. Well, this wasn't exactly planned. Well, maybe if you had been more responsible, you wouldn't have... You know what? Never mind. You can leave now. So sad. I would be so embarrassed. She's not going to be able to take care of her baby. She's going to be a terrible mom. Even my own mom gave me a really hard time. What's wrong? All of the kids at school are laughing at me. Well, can you blame them? I mean, this is really irresponsible of you, you know. I didn't mean for this to happen, OK? Well, what exactly is your plan anyways? What do you mean? I'm going to keep her. Not in our house, you're not. But then where am I supposed to go? I don't care. That's not my problem. Clearly, you make your own decisions. So figure it out. But I don't have anywhere else to go. Go to your boyfriend's house then, or to the streets for all I care. Even her own mom doesn't want her. <laughs> Can we please just go? I don't want to be here. No. I need you to experience this so you can see what a huge mistake you've made. As a matter of fact, walk home. What? No, I can't walk that far. Mom! Mom! You better get used to it, young lady, because you're not going to be living with us for too long. What? But worst of all was what my boyfriend did to me. Hey, uh, I wasn't expecting you here. My mom basically just kicked me out of the house. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Whose heels are those? Those aren't mine. Uh... Hey, babe, what do you mean? Who's she? Who am I? Who are you? And why is she wearing your shirt? This is Stacy. Stacy, this is Maya. My ex-girlfriend. Ex? What are you talking about? Look, I was gonna tell you, okay? I'm seeing Stacy now. But we're gonna have a baby together. I don't know what you mean by we. I don't want anything to do with it. So that's it? You're just gonna break up with me like this? While I'm nine months pregnant? I was coming to you to see if I can move in because my mom just kicked me out. What do you want me to say? I'm not ready to have a kid. Maybe you should just, you know? Just what? Get rid of it. It'll make all of our lives a lot easier. What? How can you even say that? I'm just being honest. Now, if you don't mind, I was about to make some breakfast for Stacy and me. How could you do this to me? He said bye. Things got so bad that at one point, I even decided to give up on having you. Hi, you must be Maya. Yes. Is anyone joining you today? You know, like mom or boyfriend, perhaps? No, it's just me. OK. Um, well, before we get started, I just want to confirm. Are you sure you want to do this? No, but I don't have any choice. What do you mean? My mom kicked me out. 
My boyfriend broke up with me. I have no money and nowhere to go. There's no way I can take care of a child all by myself. I see. This is none of my business, but have you considered adoption? I'm sure we could find your baby a really good home. Oh, wow. Well, I guess I hadn't really thought about that. I think it's an incredible alternative, especially for girls that are in your situation. Maybe I should think about it then. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. You're welcome. And if you look right here, it explains how this all works and how you can help make a family happy with a child of their own. So you see, that's how I decided to give you up for adoption. It wasn't because I didn't love you. It's because I wanted to give you the best life possible. It's time. Okay, just one more second, please. The nurse just got here, so I have to give you up now. But please know that one day I'm going to come and see you. Until then, I'll be thinking about you every day. I love you so much. <laughs> you see, I told you she loves you. I want to introduce everyone to my dad's. Oh, that is so embarrassing. That's enough, Billy. It's okay, Miss Green. At least my dad's chose me. Your mom didn't have a choice. As I was saying, these are my dads, and they are the best parents in the world. I won! You are so good at this game. Oh, would you mind getting that, sweetie? Sure. Hi, Jasmine. She's your mom. I figured it was time you two met. Wow, you are more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. There hasn't been a day that's gone by where I haven't thought about you. I am so sorry I couldn't be there for you. It's okay. I'm just happy you're here. <laughs> we were playing Candyland. Do you want to join us? Sure, I'd love to. <laughs> Fair warning, we haven't won a single game against Jasmine. <laughs> yeah, she's really good. And don't think I'll go easy on you, either. <laughs> That's okay. I think I'm up for a challenge. Good morning, class. We have a new student today. Why don't you tell everyone about yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm Liz. It's nice to- What's up with your arms? Mia, that is not an appropriate question to ask. I'm so sorry. Go on. No, it's all right. I have this skin condition called eczema, and... Hey, do you have a sec? Yeah, sure. Be right back. No problem. Anyway, as I was saying... Maybe you should put some lotion on. Here, catch. Oh, that won't change anything. You see... Or see a doctor or something. So you don't look like such a... lizard. <laughs> hey, that's not funny, Mia. Yeah, you shouldn't talk about someone's appearance like that. Don't tell me what to do. Wait, is that why your parents called you Liz? Because it's short for lizard? <laughs> I'm back. Sorry about that. Where were we? Can I just take my seat, please? Yeah, sure. Let's go, Jojo! Gotcha! Yeah, nice catch, Mia. Thanks. That's two outs. One more, and green team wins. Catch it! I got it! I got it!
Thanks a lot, Lizard. He lost the game for us. Sorry. It's fine. It's just a game. Yeah. That could have happened to any of us. Are you kidding me? That would have never happened to me. I don't know how I felt. I feel really bad. Here's the ball. Ew, I don't want to touch that. You think I'm trying to get what you have? Oh, it's not contagious. It's, it's on your legs, too? That's disgusting. I'm getting out of here before your disease rubs off on me. Sorry you had to deal with that. Yeah, Mia can be a real bully sometimes. I just don't know what to do. I can't control the skin I was born into. Please, don't let her get to you. Yeah, here, I'll take the ball. Thanks. Lunch time. So, how do you like it at school so far? It's pretty good. For the most part, at least. So, why'd you transfer here anyway? Well, to be honest, I used to get bullied a lot at my old school for my eczema. My mom saw how bad it was getting, so she pulled me out. I can't believe you had to go through all that. I'm so... Check out Liz, the, the real-life lizard. What are you doing? Why are you recording me? I just hope everyone on TikTok sees the real-life reptile we have here. Check out her arms. Bro, <laughs> <Gross>. Stop! <laughs> That's so mean, Mia. Yeah, you don't have to be such a bully. Do not post that. Oops. I just did. <laughs> Hopefully she goes back to her old school so none of us catch whatever nasty condition she has. Hey, Lizard. Look, you're famous. The video I posted has already over 10,000 views. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. How was your day? It was good. We have this new girl. Mia? Yeah. What in the world is this? How did you find that? That's besides the point. Mia posted a video making fun of a new student with eczema. What? She's been making fun of her all day. Yeah, she even made Liz cry. Be quiet. I can't believe what I am hearing. I am so sorry she did that. I'm going to have to tell the principal about this. Wait, please, let me talk to her first. I will make sure that something like this never happens again. Fine. You got lucky your mom just saved you, Mia. Otherwise, you'd probably be getting suspended. What in the world were you thinking? Delete that video right now. It was getting so many views. There, it's deleted. You should never make fun of someone for how they look. How would you like it if somebody treated you or me that way, huh? Well, thankfully we don't have lizard skin, so we won't have to deal with that. Mom. What's wrong? You have no idea what I used to deal with. You see, when I was a little girl, I also had really bad eczema. I hated going to school because all the kids would make fun of me. I'd try to avoid ever showing my skin, but sometimes it wasn't possible. I'd get called names and laughed at, all for something I couldn't even control. I was constantly insecure and bullied. I can't even count how many times I left school crying, never wanting to go back again. So you see, I had to deal with it too. Oh my gosh. You also had eczema, but wouldn't you still have it? Wouldn't I have it too? A lot of people have it. Some of us outgrow it, and it doesn't always transfer to kids. Wow, I feel so bad. You had to go through all of that. It really hurt, but I got through it. What you should be feeling bad about is how you treated Liz. You're right. Would you mind giving me a minute? Hey, Liz. I... Just leave me alone. I don't need you calling me any more names or making more videos of me. Actually, that's not why I'm here at all. I deleted the video. 
Then why are you here? I do apologize. I should have never made fun of you for the way you look. Can you please forgive me? Sure. But are you sure you want to shake my hand? Better yet, how about a hug? Scouts, grab your backpacks and let's head out. Pink backpack? Whose is this? Don't tell me this is yours, Sandy. No, mine's right here. Oh, Billy, it's yours, isn't it? Wow, I can't believe you'd wear it. It's mine. What are you doing here? I'm Bailey, I just joined. Nice to meet you. Now, Master John, please tell me this is some kind of joke. I mean, we've never had a girl in our troop. Exactly. So it's time we add one, right? Bailey's going to be joining us today. All right, everybody, before we leave, I want to go over some quick first aid training with you all. So come here and gather around. We're going to start with what happens if you happen to sprain your ankle out there. You see, first you want to deal with the pain and the swelling. The best no. thing for that is gonna be an ice pack. There's gonna be spiders, bear, snakes, probably even mountain lions. When they repeat that every two to three hours, okay? Next, eat little swelling. girls like you for breakfast. Sure you wanna come with us? Yes, I'm sure. But thanks for your concern though. We better pay attention in case someone at camp gets hurt and needs our help. Alright, now don't wrap that too tightly, otherwise you're gonna Huh. The last person anyone would go to for help is some girl. Besides, stuff is easy. I already know all this. Remember, ice, wrap, elevates. Do not lose your trail maps. It is very easy to get lost out here, okay? So keep an eye on them at all times. You guys paying attention back there? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Okay, let's go. It's not too late to turn back and wait in the bus, you know. Uh, I'll be fine, thanks. Just saying, if you get lost, don't count on me or one of the boys to come save you. <laughs> as long as I have my map, I'm good, and who knows, I might be the one saving you. Oh, <laughs> she got you. She said she's the one saving you. <laughs> yeah, right. That never happened. Watch this. Where is he going? What is he doing? He's gonna, oh take it. He's gonna, He's gonna take it. He's gonna take it. He's gonna take it. He's gonna take it. Oh my god. He's... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> he did it. He actually did it. Oh my god. It's here. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll see who needs the saving. All right, we're almost to the campfire. Let's pick it up. All right, everybody. I'm gonna show you how to make a fire. Now, pay close attention because the scout that does the best today is gonna win a special badge. Ooh. You may as well just give it to me now. Everyone knows I'm the best scout here. Well, we'll see. It could go to anyone, even Bailey. Yeah, right. She should have stuck to selling Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> hey, Trevor, cut that out, okay? That's not nice. Besides, anything a boy can do, a girl can do too, if not better. Yeah, right. Now, back to what I was saying. You take your flint and steel, hold it over your kindling. Why is she over there nodding her head? It's not like she understands any of this. Hey, Bailey, this is manly stuff. You should stick to playing with dolls. <laughs> hey, you guys might want to pay attention to this. If there's ever an emergency, a fire is a good distress signal. There. <laughs> That's how you make a fire. I could have done that in my sleep. Okay, now it's your turn. Everybody choose a partner, go out and find some wood. Stick together. And do not lose your map. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, yo. hey Max, wanna be my partner? Uh, actually, I was gonna be partners with Daryl. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. Sammy, wanna be my partner? 
Uh, I already chose Billy Man. Sorry. Hi. Your loss. Hey, Trevor, want to be my partner? Yeah, right. I'd rather go alone. Come on, everyone else is already taken. And besides, I can help you. <sighs> no way. Hey, wait, here. Stop following me. I don't need your help. This isn't something a little girl can do. But you heard what Scoutmaster John said. We need to take our maps and stay in twos. Well, that's for everyone else, not me. I'm the best scout here. And I don't need some dumb map. And I certainly don't need some little girl as a partner. Trevor, wait! It isn't safe alone! Trevor! Trevor doesn't want a girl as a partner, so he runs away from Bailey, leaving her all by herself. Trevor goes deeper and deeper into the forest in search of a good log that can be used as firewood. He finally finds one and decides to head back to camp with it. Everything seems to be going great. That is, until he gets lost. He can't remember which way he came from because everything looks the same. He wanders deeper and deeper into the forest, unbeknownst to him, going farther and farther away from all the other scouts. As it begins to get dark, Trevor gets worried and starts yelling out for help. But no one can hear him. He starts to wish that he hadn't thrown away his map. Trevor begins to panic as he can't find his way back to camp. He starts to run. As he does, he ends up falling and twisting his ankle really bad. He screeches in pain, but no one is around to save him. Hours have gone by and now Trevor is terrified. He keeps hearing all these noises. Trevor now cries and screams for help, only to be saved by the last person he'd ever want to be saved by. Help! What was that? A snake? Or a mountain lion? Stay back! Stay back! I'm serious! I'm armed! Please don't hurt me. Trevor! Oh no, not you! Hey, the whole camp has been looking for you everywhere. Everyone's so worried. Thankfully, I heard you screaming and found this. I wasn't screaming. I was just resting. Really? Because I thought I heard you say, help, help, please, somebody help me. Can you please leave me alone? I'll be fine. I'm just about to get up. Ah! Oh, my ankle! Ah! Oh! Let me help. Uh, it looks really swollen. It feels like it's spring. I said it'll be fine. Let me help you. I don't need your help. Oh. Remember what Scoutmaster John said. We need to ice it to control the swelling and, and keep uh, it wrapped for extra support. Uh, yeah, of course. I, I was just about to do that. Can you hold on to my shoulder and hop one leg and I'll use my map! It's gone! H have you seen it? Uh, no. Shoot, okay, well, what would Scoutmaster John do? Oh, we can build a fire and use it as a distress signal? Yeah, of course. I was just about to do that. Come on, let's see. Uh... Want me to help you? No, I got this. Come on. It's not working. It must be the dumb stick. Here, let, let me try. Fine, but if I can't do it, you definitely can. See, it doesn't work. Come on. There. 
Now, just let me get some more wood so we can start a bigger fire. Okay. You just rest here. I'll be right back. That should be good. Hopefully someone sees it, or it might be scary spending the rest of the night out here. Scary? The only person that'd be scared is a little girl. And that little girl is you. <laughs> ah! My light! Oh, Trevor! Bailey! Oh, we've been looking everywhere for you. Are you okay? You're hurt. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I wrapped my ankle, just like you taught us. Well, Trevor, I gotta say, this is perfectly wrapped. Thank you. Great job getting the fire going, too. Otherwise, I don't think we would have been able to find you guys. Oh, it, it was pretty easy. <laughs> Let me help you up. You know, Trevor, I am so impressed with how well you've done today that I've decided to give you the special badge. What? <laughs> For best scout performance. Oh, whoa. I don't know what to say. I... Actually, this doesn't belong to me. What do you mean you did everything perfectly, just like I taught you? It wasn't me. It was Bailey. And to be honest, I don't know if I would have survived without her. So here, Bailey, this is yours. Oh my gosh, Trevor, I don't know what to say. I do. I want to say that I'm sorry for how I treated you. And now I know anything boys can do, girls can do too. If not better. <laughs> so, can you please forgive me? Of course. And I'd love for you to be my partner going forward. If that's okay with you. I'd love that. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure everybody is very tired and very hungry, so yes. let's go home, huh? Well, if you're hungry, I actually have some cookies. <gasps> Thin mints, my favorite. <laughs> What? I love Girl Scout cookies, okay? <laughs> Let's go. I don't mind sharing everything like normal roommates if you just contributed once in a while. Don't tell me that's my orange juice. No, I can't believe you drank the entire bottle. I'm going to the store. Can you get me some more OJ and detergent? If you want to give me some money to pay for it. Never mind. <laughs>